Hey guys, it's Ashley with Boutique Hub again, and I'm with Lori Beth from Kaylee J's Boutique, and we are just installing Google Analytics on the back end of her Shopify account. So all we did so far was we went to Google Analytics, or actually it's analytics.google.com, and we signed in and created an account, which took you like, what, 30 seconds? Right. Right. We just put in your website and some other information, and now the step-by-step -step process has led you to the tracking code. So if you want to scroll down a little bit and you can click out of that orange box that's popped up. All right, so website tracking, do you s tracking? You see that piece of code there? You're just going to highlight it all and copy it. Oh, there you go. All right, now hop on over to the back end of Shopify. And we are in online store and then we clicked on preferences to get where we are. And now there's a Google Analytics box and you just simply paste it in there. So this was just like pasting in your Facebook pixel. This was really easy. Hit save, and you're done. One click. So what this that is going to be. <laughs> it was easy. Oh, one more step. One more step. Do you see where it says enhance e-commerce tracking? I want yes. you to click that box and then hit save again. So what this is going to do now, Lori, is Google Analytics will track all of the traffic to your website. It will track all of the referring websites that are sending traffic to you more in more detail than Shopify will alone. So it's going to show you um, all of the social media accounts, any blog posts, your profile on the Boutique Hub. You'll be able to see how many people are referring from that site in more detail. You'll also be able to see what pages specifically people are clicking on. And that's really helpful if you're wondering what categories to feature on the homepage of your website. If you know that you're getting huge hits on tops, um, then you know that you need to feature tops on your homepage. Or if there's certain tops that are getting a lot of hits, you're going to know to put them further up on your homepage or use them as a featured product on your homepage. You can also see in the back end of Google Analytics where people are dropping off your site. So if they get to a certain category or section of your site and then they bounce off, then you know that you've got some changes to make there. Um, you'll also be able to benchmark on Google Analytics uh, how many page views you're getting a month to kind of set a goal for yourself because just like you want your revenue to go up, you want your traffic to go up because then in turn your conversions should be going up. So this is going to allow you to see all that data. Uh, kind of the more advanced thing that you could do with Google Analytics is set up goal tracking. And what goal tracking does is it says um, on average when someone checks out, your average order size is about $40, we'll say. So then every time there's a checkout, you know that that goal is worth $40. And Google Analytics will track all of that. So you can see what links you're using that are driving traffic to your site and resulting in you reaching this goal of each checkout being worth $40. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. Perfect. If you also use MailChimp, um, you can set up like a connection between MailChimp and Google Analytics. And that will track how your emails are performing. So with each email you send, you'll be able to see how much money you made from that email. So any other questions on this, Lori? No, I think that's good. It sounds like good information. Yeah, perfect. All right. We'll wrap up the tutorial.